Welcome to day 20 of 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. I am so excited to have you back and to be at this other milestone. We are closing out our second section of 30 Days of Prayer for Our Kids, where we're focusing on praying for kind of the internal attitudes and fruit that we want to see expressed in them. And today we're going to end with the prayer that our children would seek treasures in heaven. Matthew 6, 19 through 21 is one of my favorite verses. And it says, do not store up for yourself treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And we kind of touched on this a couple of days ago when we were talking about entitlement and how our, we want our kids not to just want the next shiny new thing. This is kind of, um, rather than them just being grateful for the things that they have, we want them to focus on storing up and gaining things that have heavenly and kingdom and spiritual value first, rather than focusing on the material first. So it's kind of the next level to that. As many of these build on each other and are kind of, you know, different links in the same chain, that's kind of where we're going with this. We want them to see through God glasses that what we see around us, the things that we can see and touch are just a vapor, that they are temporary, that they're just a shadow of what's going on in the heavenlies. And we want them to see into that realm. We want them not in a metaphysical or new age way, but we want them to see that God's kingdom is invisible, but it's more powerful than anything in any kingdom on earth. So um, how do we teach them that? How do we teach them to seek their treasures in heaven first? I mean, if I knew an easy answer, um, I could probably make millions, but I don't. Um, but what we can do is we can cultivate that and pray for that in ourselves first that we can um, definitely become people that seek treasures in heaven first. And, and we can just pray that God would protect their hearts from materialism and instead, instead set their minds on the eternal. So that's what we're going to do today is pray that God would make them kingdom seekers and just set their eyes and their minds on eternal things above things on this earth. Not that they would have be so eternally minded that they would be no earthly good. We want them to see things on earth as important and um, yet set their mind on that greater purpose in all of the things that they set out to do on earth, that they would always kind of have that kingdom mindedness. God, we confess that we ourselves can be materialistic and world minded and short sighted. Father, help us in that myopia, in that short nearsightedness. Give us God glasses that we can see through the things that we see around us into the heavenlies, into your kingdom, into the invisible kingdom that surrounds us. Luke 6.39 says, how can the blind lead the blind? We want to be seers. God, we want to be kingdom seekers so that we can guide our children to be kingdom seekers. So please, where we are short-sighted, where we are world-minded and, and world-purposed, we pray in Jesus' name that you would help us to become more kingdom-focused so that we can guide and shepherd and be an example for our children. And Lord, we just praise you for your power that no matter how influential the things of this world are, you can have a greater influence. You are greater than anyone or anything on this planet and in this universe, and we welcome that powerful intervention into the hearts and minds of our children. Thank you, God, for the many blessings that we have on earth. I pray that we would never lose sight of those or lessen the fact that, that you've given us those things. You planted us on planet earth. There is a purpose for us here. It's not meaningless, but it is secondary. So we just pray, God, that you would give our children a taste of the eternal, that the world would see bland in comparison to the eternal kingdom things that you have in store for them, and that that trajectory would just continue for all eternity for them to just be continuing to walk in kingdom mindedness, that they would not serve two masters, that the one 
true master that they would choose would always be you every time and that they would store up for themselves treasures in heaven that nothing and no one on earth can steal, kill, or destroy. In Jesus' name, amen.